Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Bushcraft North of 60. It's a little rainy outside, so today's indoor video is going to be how to fix these uh, missing and broken grommets off your tarp. So stay tuned, we'll be right back here in the messy workshop. So some things you're going to need for repairing your tarp. It's going to be a hammer. I just happen to have a ball peen hammer because I trust hitting metal more with this than a claw hammer for carpentry. And you're going to need a grommet repair kit. And they usually come with a base. And then you've got this uh, one die here that'll form the back of your grommet. You've got a punch, which didn't come sharp in my case. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. I, uh, I ended up sharpening this up with a file just to give this a little bit of an edge. But you could also, I don't have a good one here to show you, but uh, depending if you can find some empty brass the same size. This one's been smushed down for different reasons. But yeah, sometimes you can use about a 30 caliber... Uh, brass as well and you're obviously also going to need the grommets themselves which come in the repair kit and they also come as little refills and the repair kit I bought was just one of Canadian Tire I think it, it might have been like eight dollars or something I can't remember now and you're gonna need some Gorilla Tape at least that's what I use this stuff's awesome so Let's get our stuff going here. You get your tarp with the missing grommet, and you take your Gorilla Tape. Now the idea is to go in probably, at least as far as the seam on this one, but about a hand breadth. So you're going to want to rip off two hand breadths of uh, tape. And all I'm going to do is go over the hole. back down the other side make sure there's no wrinkles in it or anything and if you really wanted to reinforce it well you could even put a little longer piece going the other way on each side too it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to do this first but we'll just make ours super strong Move our tape out of the way here. And die. Another thing that will come in handy is a little block of wood just for cutting out the, the die. So, put a block of wood here. Just going to stick that on here. You should have safety glasses on when you do this. So, we're just going to take this die, give it a snap. Now, we've got a nice hole. Before I forget, I'm going to clean this piece out of here too before the tape really starts to gum up in there. And then next time I go to use it, it's stuck. Because this stuff is phenomenal tape. So there's the plug. It's pretty thick actually. Look at that. Should have some body to it. So we don't need this. We need our lower die. And we're going to need a set of a top and bottom piece. Now if you really want to get fussy, see which way your other ones are. And in this case the rough edge is facing that way, which means it's going to poke through from this side out to that way. So we're going to feed that all the way through here and then we'll get our back piece put on here in a second. And sometimes it'll help if you pull this tape. That'll make it come away from our grommet. So we're going to put this piece on the back. You want to make sure that the inside brass piece comes all the way through this outside piece. We're going to put it on our die. half of the die, which has the, uh, the punch piece. Give her a few taps. You don't need to smash it, but you need to make sure it's seated. We're going to need just a little bit more. And 
and there we have one grommet. I'm pretty sure I got another one here. But the last time I was out, it was just about toast. Yeah, there we go. See how that one's all rusty? So we're going to do the same thing here. We'll just do this all in one quick go. So, a little bit of tape. I'm going to try it with just this one fold of tape. Make it a little easier on my set going together. And it'll be a good experiment for me to see how this holds up with just the one layer, because this tape is pretty good stuff. I never really even knew about this tape until uh, Lonnie at Far North Bushcraft and Survival was using it to make tents. Alright, so we've got that. Punch it out. plug here before I forget. Feed one of these through until it comes out this side. Put the washer on it. My base. Get the punch ready. Now most of them, the piece coming through is going to be driven down by the round part on the back here. So. At least most of the ones I've worked with. Set this up. Doesn't take much. And there you go. Another grommet. So just because one of those pulls out, don't let that be an excuse to throw your tarp out if you can salvage it. Or if I only wanted this tarp, say, I don't know, a couple feet shorter and cut it along here. You could do that whole edge with your Gorilla Tape and then do your grommets all the way down it. So I hope that helps you keep your gear in shape and we'll see you next time here from Northwest Territories in Northern Canada. You guys take care.